Well, it is 6 a.m. in Gaza, where Israel is bombarding the besieged enclave for a 16th day. Israel's military says it's stepping up attacks on the Gaza Strip as it prepares for what it calls the next stage of this war. But now there's also been a rare Israeli airstrike in the occupied West Bank. At least two people have been killed in the Janin refugee camp when that strike hit a mosque. The Israeli army says it's targeted what it calls an underground terrorist route. And it's believed to be only the second time that Israel has launched an air raid on the occupied West Bank since 2006. Well, let's speak to our correspondent, Sarah Kairat. She joins us now from Ramallah in the occupied West Bank. Sarah, as we've been saying, an airstrike in the occupied West Bank is really unusual. What more do we know about what happened tonight? Yeah, it is, Nastasia, and that's why it took a lot of the residents of refugee uh, camp by surprise. In fact, they said they first heard it and then they saw it. They said that they'd seen an Israeli fighter jet, and that was later confirmed by the Israeli army, saying that it targeted this mosque because it says it was specifically targeting a place that was being used as a command center, if you like, for uh, Janine Palestinian fighters um, that had planned uh, a, an attack uh, coming up and that also were behind several other attacks uh, from before on, they said, either Israeli citizens or the Israeli uh, security forces. Now, interestingly, this particular mosque was uh, the uh, center of uh, a siege that happened back in July for 48 hours, where 12 Palestinians were killed. Homes had been destroyed at the time. It was a, a massive uh, raid on Janine refugee camp, the biggest uh, since 2002. And during that time, the Israeli forces had um, tried to destroy tunnels underneath the mosque that um, they said uh, the Palestinian fighters were using to move around uh, uh, undetected uh, because of these raids that Israel keeps carrying out on the refugee camp. Um, but they hadn't managed to catch any of the fighters at the time. Now they're saying that the uh, Palestinian fighters, which are part of the Janine Brigade, um, were part of the Islamic Jihad and Hamas. Just to give you a bit of background on Jan uh, the Janine Brigade, they were formed in 2021, uh, one of the biggest Palestinian resistance groups here in occupied West Bank. Um, and they've been really uh, a cause uh, of, uh, of concern to the Israelis because they are armed uh, and they've been behind a lot of the attacks that have been carried out against their forces. Um, and they seem to be increasing in strength uh, year on year, uh, certainly this year where there's been a lot of tensions here. Sorry, you mentioned raids there. There has been an intensified crackdown there over the last couple of weeks. I believe it's been more than a thousand people now arrested. Is the expectation that that will continue? Absolutely not. In fact, just as we're talking now, there's been several raids uh, for the last couple of hours in different areas here in Occupied West Bank, near Nablus, Bethlehem, um, just outside of Ramallah as well. Uh, one of the municipality uh, uh, mayors had has been arrested too. Um, so those are not going anywhere. If anything, they're being stepped up. And of course, one of the biggest uh, series of raids that happened on Saturday into uh, uh, across Occupied West Bank, um, they arrested more than 100 Palestinians. They said mostly, the Israelis say mostly Hamas members, and um, that's been verified by Palestinians here. So, but apart from those that they're targeting, which is Hamas members, they've also been uh, arresting people that are posting, uh, you know, activists or journalists even that are posting anything that's um, towards uh, support for those that are in Gaza. Of course, there's an assault uh, by Israel, a war on uh, people in Gaza. And also, we're seeing that people are too scared, if you like, to protest against that because they're worried of those arrests. There's definitely uh, a lot more fear amongst Palestinians here of what's yet to come. Sarah Khairat there with the latest for us from Ramallah in the occupied West Bank. Thank you so much, Sarah.